Now to breaking news, and Ukraine's president says Russia has launched a deadly attack on a train station in the eastern part of the country. And the strike comes as Ukraine celebrates its Independence Day. CBS 2's Dick Brennan has the latest from our newsroom now. Dick? Well, Christina Maurice, the attack on a train station killed 15 people and wounded some 50 others. It happened in the small town of Chaplin. And now we have the first images from the train station showing the devastating attack. President Zelensky had said Russia would try something particularly cruel to mark the day, and now we see it. Also, a car bombing that killed the 29-year-old daughter of a right-wing Russian political theorist on Saturday heightened fears that Russia might intensify attacks. Now, Kyiv authorities banned large gatherings in the capital through Thursday for fear of missile strikes. And in our Kyiv, Ukrainian servicemen fired anti-aircraft cannons this morning, and it comes at the six-month mark of the war with Russia. Today, President Biden said the latest American aid package will allow Ukraine to acquire air defense and artillery systems along with other weapons. In the newsroom, Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Dick, thank you.